Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to reiterate that I no longer care about the silly stupid console wars. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now you've sat here, if you've been here for a while, you know that I have pretty much been like 100% like on board with Xbox, everything that Xbox has been doing. I don't ever really criticize Xbox very much. And I would always, you know, seem to come find a reason to just be um, upset, you know, or or my my experience with PlayStation has just never met my unrealistic expectations for for the PlayStation brand. Well, that all changed the day I opened up my play, my PSVR two, and simply <laughs> PlayStation has finally given me something that i cannot get on xbox not only is the dual sense edge in my opinion a superior um pro controller to the uh, elite series 2 that tends to break and fall apart and the buttons quit working and the stick drift and all the nonsense that comes along with that controller i've just I've kind of I've kind of come to a realization that for me as a gamer, I cannot live without either one. I can't live without PlayStation. I can't live without Xbox. And we've got a community here that is I would like to think that we're all gamers. I would like to think that we're all gamers and we all want the same thing and we all just want to have a, a gaming experience that truly immerses us and keeps us on our toes and it's something that we just want to continue to play day in and day out like that's what i thought that we were that we were all wanting and that's what we were all excited about i don't care for the nitty gritty stupid comments that that people leave you know like vr sucks and all of that stuff vr is a pretty niche product it is it, it, it's definitely taken some time for it to to start to get more you know fanfare and to start to be talked about more and the simple negativity about vr is in my opinion kind of like a coping me mechanism because i would love xbox to bring a vr headset out that i can play forza motorsport or forza horizon 5 in i would love that I would buy it the day it launched. I I love racing experiences in VR. That is by far my favorite. And the other games that PlayStation has brought out this generation for PSVR 2 already, like Call of the Mountain, uh, that gives me hope for, for other types of experiences that I would potentially like and want to play on PSVR 2. Resident Evil Village is pretty nice. It looks pretty dang good still. It... It's one of those things that like, man, like I get that people are excited and you want to represent your brand and you want to be happy and other people want to, you know, always be negative about what you like. And, and that sucks, man. That really sucks that we live in a society where people can't just let other people enjoy what they want to play without being without being ignorant about it. It <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me that. We're living in a day and age where we have the literal best video games that we have ever seen in our lives, both visually, both physics, with with uh, with, with in incredible stories that that these developers have brought out. I mean, I've sat and put out content for for Spoken, another game that I love that I simply can't play on my Xbox. I had to play it on PlayStation. I love that game. Am I upset that PlayStation locked it to their console? Yeah, that sucks, man. I feel bad for Xbox players not being able to get the opportunity to play that game because it's really cool. But the ne the negativity that I've had to sit through for that game after buying it and beating it myself and me as a, you know, me being a, a YouTuber and, and buying this content and making content about it, I thought that was what people wanted to know. Like, they, they wanted me to play it and see if I liked it so they could, you know, invest their money on it. But then I get just so much negativity about it. I, I will keep making Forspoken videos as long as people keep watching them. People watch the Forspoken videos. I got over 
almost 2,000 views on a recent Forspoken video that I that I just put out, and you know, like <laughs> that's that's insane, man. I I I didn't think anybody would care about any kind of Forspoken videos this far after, but it got a new update and and people wanted to watch it. That's just that's cool, man. I'm grateful that people want to watch that content. And if they want to see that content because I'm positive about that game and I want to make content for it, that's awesome, man. I'm not saying that anybody's doing anything wrong when it comes to, you know, enjoying your, your console war stuff. Like, I'm not I'm not saying that. Like, I clearly participated in that, you know, for the, for the first part of this channel. But I want this channel to go in a different direction. I want us to be able to enjoy video games. I want to be able to play video games wherever I want and not have to worry about half of my community freaking out on me or saying negative stuff every time I put out a video for that. If you don't care about PlayStation, don't watch that content. You don't even need to content uh, comment on it. If you don't like Xbox, you don't need to watch that content. You don't need to comment on it. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I'm not here to... I'm not here to do console wars, but it does. It it wears on me when I have to sit here and listen to the negativity, especially when it's something I really, really like. I'm going to tell you right now, playing freaking PlayStation VR 2, like driving this Bugatti right here in PSVR 2, simply incredible. Simply and freaking incredible driving this car around the track at the with, with, with the incredible sense of speed. It's, it's an, it's an, it's incredible. It's simply freaking amazing. You cannot get that anywhere else. Like I've, I've played racing games on PC and VR and you cannot match this experience on the PC as it sits right now. There's not anything better than Gran Turismo 7 in VR. It's simply the best, simply the freaking best racing VR experience that you can get. Uh, yeah, so I I just want you guys to know, man, like I don't care about the console wars. I don't care. I, I'm going to play stuff. I'm going to be doing Resident Evil on the Xbox. That's where I want to play Resident Evil 4. There's, there's games that are going to come out for PlayStation this year. You know, Spider-Man. There's going to be more VR content. Like I'm going to cover all of it. And I'm going to have fun doing it. And I'm going to play it all. And I hope that... Whoever, I hope that you guys decide to stick around and continue to support the channel, but I don't care about the negative comments. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want, you know, to listen to people being negative about <clears throat> all this stuff that I'm really enjoying. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.